psilocybin, the psychedelic compound found in magic mushrooms, helps to open up depressed people's brains for up to three weeks. This enables brain regions to talk more freely to one another. That's according to a new UK study published in the journal Nature Medicine. If you look at a landscape of hills and valleys, the valleys seem very deep in depression and people get locked into the, the valley thinking. Now psychedelics flatten that landscape. This is the first time people have looked to see what happens afterwards. And it seems that that breaking down of the thinking, rutted thinking, the flattening of the landscape allows, persists after when people get well. And that is, we call increased flexibility. Their brain can work more uh, fluidly. And we think that underpins the, the benefit of, of psilocybin and probably other psychedelics in depression. The results are based on brain scans of nearly 60 people receiving treatment for depression, who also receive psychotherapy for mental health professionals. So how does it compare to traditional treatments for depression? Drugs that are typically used to treat depression, they often fail to improve symptoms. Research shows that one in three patients on antidepressants um, never achieves a full recovery and for those people who need further treatment, the relapse rate is very high. So this study paves the way for the condition to be treated differently from conventional medications. The researchers want to find out how long the effect lasts and um, how the treatment could, could be used. And so doctors then would be able to either offer patients to take a pill every day or, or maybe take psychedelics every few months. The effects of psychedelics have been known for some time. The research until recently has been curbed. It's extremely disappointing that it's taken this long, but at least we've done it and we can show now what, what people were beginning to get clues of in the 1950s and 60s, that these are a, a very powerful alternative way of helping people with mental illness. The authors say while the findings are encouraging, patients should not self-medicate with psilocybin. The findings bode well for research on other mental illnesses. Professor Nutt's team is currently studying the use of psychedelics for anorexia. Thank you.